So this is Alpha MD. My name's Brian. Uh, Garrett is here with me today. Hello. Today we're going to be doing a uh, AMA from Reddit, and uh, we're going to go through a couple of these questions. that are going to pop up on the screen as we kind of chat about them. Um, we replied to the thread a little bit. We're going to be linking back to that thread, uh, probably chopping up some of these later. This is our first video and format doing this. So, you know, any suggestions you have for us to improve the format, that type of stuff in the future, feel free to leave that below. Perfectly cool. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into that. Why don't we? Um, so what we have here is someone first question. Uh, what's your take on aromatase inhibitors? Um, and so there's a couple of things about that. So what it what what is that, right? What are AIs? Um, when you all go on TRT, you're injecting or adding outside testosterone to your body. Your body likes to maintain a uh, stable environment between testosterone and estrogen. It doesn't like when they change. And so when you add more testosterone, your body tries to change that ratio back to the way it was, takes some of that testosterone, turns it into estrogen. Um, AIs essentially tell your body, do not do that. And in a lot of cases, that's what a lot of people do want because they're looking to get more testosterone, not necessarily more estrogen. Um, and so there's a lot of opinions on this, which is either AIs do nothing, AIs are good, AIs are bad. And so what's the opinion of uh, professionals and people who would prescribe it? Well, the answer is that like all those are correct. <laughs> those are all correct answers. Um, and what it comes down to is personal need because every single person is different, right? So some people, maybe they need more estrogen in their life where, okay, they add some testosterone, extra estrogen is good for them. It turns out they don't get any of the negative side effects from it um, because what it also does is it can improve your mood if it's the right amount. Um, it can help a lot with libido. And estrogen is also responsible for maintaining a lot of other bodily functions. They can also help with like weight loss, things like that. Um, and so having a healthy balance of that is quite good. And so some people may not need it at all, and it may be beneficial to not prescribe it. Um, whereas on the opposite side of that, some people uh, don't need it and then do get prescribed it. And what it does is just bottom out their estrogen. So for those people, that's totally not good. Now, all of a sudden, you know, they're having libido issues. They can't drop weight. Uh, their feelings get all mixed up. And uh, the third and final one, someone has a lot of side effects. You know, we have we have patients who, you know, after they inject the same day, they get, you know, essentially like sensitive nipples. Like they have the side effects and they absolutely need it. They take the pill. Those sensitive nipple feelings go away. There's no concern for any um, gyno or anything like that. And so what it really is is you need your provider to take a look at that with you um us as a trt provider our main approach is to not prescribe it unless people need it um kind of see how you go because again the thing about bottoming out that estrogen can actually make you feel really bad and you're not you're not going to know until you see someone um how they respond to treatment so like one size doesn't fit all in this category and uh so for us, it's good if it's good for you. It's bad if it's bad for you. You need someone to look at it. AIs are useful. They do what they do, but they're completely separate for everyone. Uh, that's our take on it. 